Hi, welcome to Joe's Classroom. In this video, I'm going to explain how we can make use of the solvers in Octave to solve higher order differential equations. I mean the ordinary differential equations. This flowchart explains the process involved in solving the higher order differential equations. The first thing you have to do is the given higher order differential equation has to be broken into a set of coupled first order differential equations. The example is shown here. This is a second order differential equation and this is transformed into two first order differential equations and they are coupled. Okay, so when I say the coupled differential equation, I mean that, see, if I take the second equation, I understand the x2 varies with respect to time. And the variation of x1 with respect to time depends on x2. So these two first order differentiation differential equations are coupled. Okay, so that's why I call these two equations as a set of coupled first order differential equations. So once you break the given higher order differential equation into a set of coupled first order differential equations, then you can use these, you know, the solvers available in Octave, that is the l sort soft uh, solver, which is very unique to this uh, Octave, and even the other MATLAB solvers which are available in Octave. Okay, so the method we'll be following is very similar to the method which we usually follow for solving a single first order differential equation. Okay, so as I proceed, I assume that you are aware of use of the solvers in Octave to solve a single first order differential equation. If you want to know more about this, you can just watch a video on ODE solvers, which is available in this channel. So what we will do is, we'll just understand what is meant by this coupled equations and how we can solve you know, a set of coupled first order differential equations first. And then we will see some examples of how a higher order differential equation can be broken into, you know, the couple, a set of coupled first order differential equations. Then we will use the solvers to solve. Okay, so that is what we are going to do. So what is meant by coupled first order differential equations? I already explained you, you know, so how the variation of one variable with respect to the independent variable affects the variation of other variable with respect to the independent variable. Let us assume that the independent variable is t and the dependent variables are x1, x2 up to xn, where n is the number of, sorry, it is dependent variables, not the independent variables. Okay, All right. So in that case, the set of the following first order differential equations given here, you know, which represents the relationship between the variables x1 to xn and t, this set of, you know, the differential equations can be considered as coupled first order differential equations. Okay, so as I said, so let us take this dx3 by dt. That means that x3 varies with respect to time and x2 depends on x3. And x3 depends on x1 to xn. Okay, and similarly, x1 depends on the variation of x1 to xn and t. So this is these equations are coupled to each other. And if it is an autonomous system, system you know, the t will not appear here in the function because in autonomous systems you will have a differential equation with you know 
are the constant coefficients which will not depend on the value of t in such cases this the first order differential equations also will be a function of x1 to xn not x1 to xn and t okay right so let us take a few examples so this is a couple to first order differential equation and this is a linear system because you know you can write it as a matrix 1 1 4 1 into x1 x2 okay so this is a linear couple to first order differential equations and here is another nonlinear system of coupled first order differential equations okay so this x1 into x2 makes this equation nonlinear okay these are just some examples to show so let us solve the second set of equations you know so i got two first order equations or simultaneous first order equations or coupled first order differential equations and the variables here are the dependent variables x1 and x2 okay so therefore I need to specify the initial conditions, the x1 initial condition at t is equal to 0. Okay, so this means that x1 at t is equal to 0 is 4 and x2 at t is equal to 0 is equal to minus 1. So these are the given initial conditions. And we need to solve it from t is equal to 0 seconds to t is equal to 3 seconds. Let us solve this first. Let us understand how we can, you know, use uh, the solvers in Octave to solve this set of first order differential equations. I'm going to use the same program which we used to solve a single first order differential equation. And this program is explained well in the other videos. Uh, you can refer the ODE solvers video. Let me explain it quickly. This is the function to calculate the, you know, the derivative function. And these are the initial values. And this is the final value up to which the uh, simulation has to be done. And this is the time step. And yeah, this we give here, we give the time interval along with the time step. And also, it is a function to find out the solution of the differential equation. And f is the function handler, x0 is the initial value, and t is the, you know, the time interval, okay, along with the time step specification. And this is to plot the solution. So, this is the overview, and this program is written to solve dx by dt is equal to x into nature logarithm of x divided by t from t naught is equal to 2 to t is equal to 10 and initial values of t naught is equal to 2 and x naught is equal to e we will just modify the same program to solve this equation. So uh, let me change the comment line. This is x1 dash and x2 dash. I'll correct it. The initial conditions are t is equal to 0, x1 is equal to 4, and x2 is equal to you know, minus 1. So, zero, and we will run it from t is equal to zero to t is equal to three seconds. Okay. So, let us do some modifications in this so that we can solve two equations, two first order differential equations. Please note, 
this is no more a scalar this is going to be a vector two equations so i'll just write it as instead x represents a vector having x1 and x2 in it so therefore let us say this is x of 1 and this is going to be x of 2 sorry x of 1 into x of x of 2 so similarly the derivative functions are you know given into this function the initial values have to be set out t naught is equal to 0 x 1 out of 1 okay so that is equal to 4 and x naught of 2 is equal to minus 1 and t final is 3 seconds h let us take time step we will leave as it is okay and t there is no change and this is the function also okay so for the time being i will just comment this and we'll come to this okay x naught here please note x naught is no more a scalar it is a vector with two values in it okay so x naught of one and x naught of two four and minus one okay yeah that's it let me run it there is no plot command let us see yeah it is done see what you will be able to see here is there is some syntax error x dash of two okay yeah one multiplication is missing okay we will run it again yeah, it's done so now the solution is there in x see the solution is a matrix with two columns okay so if you solve a first order differential equation as a single first order differential equation this x is going to be a column vector so here in this case you will have x with two columns which means that the first column represents the solution for x1 okay so the variable x1 and the second column represents the solution for x2 so therefore when we plot we have to plot the x of all rows but the first column okay and t so this is what is the solution for x1 and similarly you can plot x2 also or even you can plot you know x1 and x2 also in the same plot x of Okay, all rows and the second column. Yeah, we got the solution. Okay, this is one and the this is x one and this is x two. So if you are interested to see only x1 you can plot it that we got the x1 variation alone
okay so we got the solution solving these two coupled first order differential equation having done that now let us try to understand how i can break a higher order differential equation into a set of first order differential equations okay let us consider this example i'm going to take two examples one second order and another fourth order so this is the first example a second order system second order differential equation please note that here the dependent variable is y and the independent variable can be anything like uh, it can be dy by dt or dy by dx doesn't matter or d square y by dx square or d square y by dt square we will assume that it is t the independent variable is t okay so therefore this term is d square y by dt square and this is dy by dt so this initial conditions are given y of 3 is equal to 2 sorry 4 and y dash of 3 is equal to minus 2 that means initial value for the independent variable is 3 okay yeah let us see the order of this differential equation is 2 and therefore we have to use two new variables we'll be using here the change of variable technique okay and since the order is 2 we have to choose two new variables let us say the new variables or x1 and x2 let us define the new variables as x1 is equal to y and x2 is equal to y dash now let us differentiate on both sides of this if i differentiate the first one i will get x1 dash is equal to y dash but y dash is equal to x2 so i can substitute that In the similar way i can differentiate the second equation that is x2 dash x2 dash is equal to y double dash x2 dash is equal to y double dash however y double dash i can write from the given equation y double dash is equal to plus 5 y dash by 2 minus y by 2 okay but y dash is equal to x2 and y is equal to x1 so everything the entire equation have to be rewritten using the new defined variables. Now the coupled first order differential equations are x1 dash is equal to x2 from this one and x2 dash is equal to you know 5 by 2 x2 minus 1 by 2 x1. So we got this equations. So the initial conditions are given for the variables y and they also have to be changed for the variables x1 and x2. Okay, so the initial conditions are what we need. The initial conditions what we need are x1 of 3 and x2 of 3. x1 is y, therefore x1 of 3 is equal to y of 3, that's equal to 4 and x2 of 3 is equal to y dash of 3 is equal to minus 3 because x2 is y dash and y dash of 3 is given as minus 2 so the initial conditions are also given so now we can define some time t is equal to 0 to 5 seconds or something and you can you know uh, use the same principle what you used to solve the coupled differential equations. Here is another example. This is a fourth order differential equation and this is also a nonlinear differential equation. Okay, so yeah, so the initial conditions given are y of zero, y dash of zero, y double dash of zero and y triple dash of zero. All initial conditions are given. Here again, let us assume that the independent variable is t. Okay, so this is the fourth derivative of y with respect to t. This is the second derivative of y with respect to t. And this is dy by dt. Okay, 
right so again this is a fourth order differential equation we need to define four new variables let us take it as x1 x2 x3 and f x4 so let us define x1 as y x2 as y dash x3 as y double dash and x4 is y triple dash we need to differentiate x1 dash is equal to y dash y dash is equal to x2 and similarly x2 dash is equal to y double dash and y double dash is equal to x3 x3 dash is equal to y triple dash and y triple dash is equal to x4 and x4 dash is y you know fourth derivative so fourth derivative of y is equal to minus 3 y dash plus sine of t into y dash minus 8 y plus t square okay so here you can replace y dash with you know y dash or oh, sorry y double dash with x3 y dash with x2 and y with x1 so this is what you will get now you got four differential equations here right so this three along with this one you get the coupled first order differential equations together and similarly the initial conditions also can be found x1 of naught x2 of naught and so on and x1 is y x2 is y dash x3 is y double dash and x4 is y triple dash okay so the, all the uh, initial values are given and they could be taken here so we got a set of coupled first order differential equations representing this higher order differential equation with these initial conditions and we can solve it so this time for illustrating the previous example i use the lsort command or lsort solver in octave and to illustrate this example i'm going to take the matlab solver available in octave again this is the code or the script file we use to solve the single first order differential equation and we are going to modify that okay please note when compared to the uh, script file written for lsort function the change is the location of dependent and independent variables in this function and also the shifting of the initial values and the you know the range of t and the way in which the range of t is also given these are the differences and again these are well explained are explained in detail in the video titled ODE solvers. Okay, fine. So let us rewrite the comment. We are going to solve this fourth order differential equation. Let us write it as. And the initial values are the solution let us take from t is equal to okay t is equal to 0 to t is equal to 3 okay yeah now again as i did previously x dash of one is equal to let us look at this equations the coupled equations x1 dash is equal to x of two
the derivative functions already inside this uh, function the initial values t naught is equal to 0 and x naught of 1 so here please note both x and x naught or no more the scalars it is a vector with all values corresponding to x1 x2 x3 and x4 so this is one and similarly you know, all the initial values are given and the final value is so let us take it as three seconds yeah and when compared to the else sort function you know you need to save the uh, output of this ODE 23, ODE 45 or ODE 15, yes, you know, will be both T and X, that is both the independent variable and the dependent variable. So therefore, uh, we should give the provision to store or save the both the variables T and X, okay? And F is the function handle, T naught to T final is the simulation what we want at x naught is the initial value again now i have to queue the column for which i am going to plot please note so if you look at this differential equation the given higher order differential equation the only variable available here is y the y has been taken as x1 when we defined the new variables so, so therefore if you are interested in the output the what we want is the first variable and therefore the first column in the x matrix okay so that's what we need yes everything is ready we can try you know running the code yes I got the solution. So this is the solution from 0 t is equal to 0 to 0 t is equal to 3. So in this video I explained about the coupled equations or coupled first order differential equations and then how a set of coupled first order differential equations can be solved using the solvers available in Octave. And we also saw how a higher order differential equation can be you know, broken into a set of first order differential equations and how these set of first order differential equations can be solved using the MATLAB solvers available in Octave also. Of course, instead of OD23, you can use OD45 also, you know, or OD15, yes. Any MATLAB solver, you know, you can use to get the solution. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video.